Welcome to Village Church Connections. My name is Sunny Torres, Director of Spiritual Services, and welcome to December. It's Christmas season, and I've decided to call this little spiritual message Lessons of Late. The reason being that many of my friends in the Pavilion Nursing Facility give me incredible insight into the events of life that can only be obtained through many years of experience. In those late years of life, I glean so much wisdom from them as they share their stories with me. They look back, I get the pointers that help me move forward a little bit wiser. So one of these lessons of late happened at Christmas time last year when I decided to do a little survey with my residents. I asked several of them what they considered their favorite part of Christmas season through the years. Was it the decorations, the unique family traditions, the parties, the Christ child story, the presents? I simply asked and they told me wonderful stories of Christmas's past. One gentleman told me of, of a time he'd spent most of his childhood years growing up in a beautiful hotel in the city. He would come home each year from school on a snowy afternoon to find the hotel staff had transformed the lobby into the most magnificent winter wonderland a child could ever imagine. Another resident shared with me the memories of the candlelight Christmas Eve services that paved the way for Christmas Day festivities with a deeper, richer meaning. She said the family continued to faithfully attend this special service even as their numbers of children, grand and great-grandchildren multiplied exponentially. She recalled how a personal tragedy had shaken the whole family to the roots on the day before Christmas. And how did that particular Christmas Eve service, with all the memories interwoven through their family history, comforted them all that night? One story after another of unique family traditions, tree decorating process and procedures, well, they all revealed to me that Christmas favorites were just as varied as the lives of my dear residents. Interesting enough, when I had offered options from which to choose their most favorite of all, I had included presents under the tree, although I was pretty sure no one would choose that one. I've noticed, and maybe you have too, that getting presents becomes less thrilling or important as years go by. I don't know, maybe it's part of getting old. <laughs> so you can only imagine how surprised I was when my 92-year-old friend responded to my favorites question with an enthusiastic presence without even a moment's hesitation. She went on to explain herself and told me the most wonderful story. During the Depression, her parents were going through financial straits, as many were, I'm sure, at that time. That Christmas morning, there was little expectation in her nine-year-old mind that gifts would be found under the tree. There was only one, it turned out, but oh, that one. Under the tree was a big bow tied to it, her first bicycle. Her parents had sacrificed much to purchase it, and she knew this gift had not come out of an abundance, but out of sacrifice made in love just for her. The memory of that Christmas gift colored every Christmas from that time on. Her parents' love was memorialized in that act of love that poured itself out when least expected or earned. Although the bike only lasted a few years, there was a message that remained with her the rest of her life. Sometimes love is costly. The Christmas story itself demonstrates that same thing, costly love for the human race. God gave his only begotten son as a gift to this world in hopes of reconciling humanity to himself. It was his peace child on Christmas morning, the covenant of harmony between heaven and earth, the divine solution for repairing the breach that sin had caused, separating God and man. Was there a cost? Oh, a sacrifice in that giving? 
Yes, Jesus, God's son, had to lay down his own life that we might live. He had to pay the ultimate price to cancel every debt we incurred against a holy and perfect God. He paid with his own life that we might live forever. Jesus said, no greater love has a man than this, that he laid down his life for his friends. That's what sacrifice is. A love like my friend remembers from that Christmas long ago that pours itself out when least expected or earned. How about God's Christmas gift to you and me? Has the sacrificial love gift of God's only son years ago convinced our hearts of his love for us? There was a huge price tag for our ransom from death, hell, and the grave. All of heaven felt the pain in the offering as God's son, Jesus, lived for our sakes and died in our place for our sin. Does the sacrifice factor that was essential for my gift of eternal life Make Christmas an extra special time to revel in the love of my Heavenly Father. I pray your Christmas celebrations this year will be enriched with that awareness of that sacrificial love that came from heaven to earth, revealing God's heart for you and me, the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Have a blessed Christmas, and see you next time.